I n. Now we're looking at having variables on both sides of the equation or even multiple variables on one side. The whole thing is we still want to solve for, in this case, x. But we got to get all the x's together, all the numbers together, and then solve for x, just like we've been doing. So what do we got? Minus 7 times x plus 3, then that plus 2x, and all of that's equal to 8 minus 9x. So pretty big whopping looking equation, but we're going to see we just follow the same steps we've been doing. So, first things first, we've got our minus 7, x plus 3, just as always rewriting out of our equation. So I have it right here above me. Great. Well, if I want to combine all these terms, this bracket can't be here. I can't add this and this if the bracket is there. So I got to get rid of the bracket. So what do I got to do? I got to do something with this minus 7. In this case, it really wouldn't make sense to divide both sides by minus 7 because I would just have a lot of ugly, ugly fractions that would be horrendous to try and deal with. So instead, I'm going to multiply it in. So I get minus 7x. Remember, as always, multiplies all the terms. And a minus and a plus becomes a minus. So I get minus 21. And I've still got my good old 2x here. And this side also hasn't changed. Great. I can start combining terms on this side. We'll go very methodically through this. Combine, what is minus 7x plus 2x? Well, it's minus 5x. We still got minus 21. Later on, you might start jumping steps and doing a few things in line together, but we'll take it nice and slow. So, I've got to get numbers to one side and variables to the other. Doesn't matter which. Do I want them on the left? Do I want them on the right? Doesn't matter. I'm arbitrarily going to decide to bring the variables to the left. I know that way I'm going to end up with a positive x, just making my life easier. Since this number is bigger than this one, I can see I bring it over to be positive. It'll save me dealing with a negative as much, but it doesn't matter. So if I want to bring this to that side, I'm going to have to add 9x to both sides. So this side is minus 9x, so I am adding 9x. Ooh. Ugly ain't 9, but it's 9x. So, in that case, these cancel. And I'm going to combine these together. 9x minus 5x is the same as 4x. Still got minus 21 over here. Still got 8 over here. Now I've got to bring the number to that side. As always, do the opposite. So I'm adding 21 to both sides. So, 4x, still on, oh, not 4, 8, 4x. My apologies. Hopefully that still looks good. And we've got 8 plus 21, which is 29. Great. Well, now I have to divide both sides by 4, because I want the x on its own. As always, I'm doing the opposite of what's being done to the variable. Opposite of multiplication is the division. They cancel. I'm left with x equals 29 over 4. Which I look, can't be reduced, so I'm all done. As always, it's okay to have a fraction.